I have two of the bigger lights shut down. So if it's driving you nuts, let me know. I can turn them on. It just makes it way brighter. And I, but I think this will do. My camera seems all right. I hope it's not blurry because I forgot to wipe it down first. All right. Okay. Uh, today, I'm going to play with some CoverGirl. Outlast Extreme Wear 3-in-1 Foundations. I picked up two at Walmart and one I ran down to Walgreens this morning and picked up. And it's like, I just have three of the same shades at this point. <laughs> I mean, literally one's like 840, one is 842, and one is 855. And they all look basically the same. I'm totally confused <laughs> crazy hi ladies hey tate hey laura yeah i was excited to finally find these at walmart they're around 10 bucks but they have 21 shades from i what i see on the cover girl site but even on the cover girl site they don't you can't purchase all 21 are like the whole thing of the 21 shades are not available even on their site. So I was excited when I saw them at Walmart. And even then they didn't have that many shades. And I stupidly bought, again, you're in fluorescent lighting. And I didn't even think until after I literally got to work and was showing Gina. I picked up 840 natural beige. And then I picked up 842 medium beige. So these are the first two I picked up. <laughs> now, yesterday I played with these. I put one on half my face and one on the other. And I couldn't tell the damn difference. I was like, this is literally almost the same exact shade. So then I went on walgreens.com, checking to see if my Walgreens down the street had them. And it said like online, it looked like they had a bunch of colors. Got my ass up this morning, went down to Walgreens. They maybe had like 10 shades. So without going into some crazy deep shade, I the next darkest shade was 855 Soft Honey, which is this one. And I get home and I look at all three bottles and I'm like, holy shit, they all look the same. This is crazy. I wonder if the swatch is showing here. I want to do swatches. I want. I already know that 840 and 842 look the same on one side of my face, so we're just gonna probably go with 842 because I'm gonna have. To, I'd rather go with the deeper, and I'll do 855 on the other side of my face just to see if there's a difference with these two. Now this thing's got some claims. It says three and one. It claims to be primer, concealer, foundation, SPF 18, hmm. transfer, humidity, and sweat proof. But then it says like buildable, full coverage, and last 24 hours. Okay. Just from wearing this yesterday, it does, I'm pretty sure it would transfer. I don't think it would stand up to humidity or sweat proof because I can literally, I was able to take a tissue and like just press it on my face and the foundation's there. So it's like, well, it's not transfer proof. And I didn't set it with a powder or anything like that. Now, while I was at Walgreens this morning, I grabbed the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1, which I already love this foundation. I think we used it in a video last week. Now, this is definitely a full coverage foundation. So here I've, I've always used shade 7, and then I saw they had shade 8, which is called Light Tan, because uh, 07 is called Sand. Kitty cats are going to start going wild. These are similar because, again, it's just one number up. But I just, I've, this I'm going to play with later because I wanted to see if this is a better match than this one on me. It's possible because this looks more neutral than the other one, this one here. But this does match me too, so, but strange. But I did grab the later because they added more shades in the Milani. So this is shade eight. But I've always used shade seven. All right, put that one back. All right. Also got in an order. Hey, kitty cat, what are you doing over there? 
too. Oh, look at your sisters there. Oh my god. You know how it is down here? We got the cats. Uh, JD Glow. Yay! Did another order. Um, she has new exterior packaging, which is really pretty. So I picked up another full-size highlighter, and this is called Essence. And I'm going to actually do an eye look. I know it sucks on live, but I just want to play. This, I don't, I don't know if you, well, you probably can't see the shift on live. But it looks gorgeous. I had to just touch it now. It's been killing me not to touch it. Oh, my. It, see, it's dark over here for me on this side. I can't see that well. It's peachy. It's a peachy golden. I should be able to pull it up off. But yeah, this foundation, I didn't find it full coverage. I'll show you the shadows too. We'll do swatches. This is the latest little haul today. They're not white, I swear. I wanted that blue. That blue was the main objective. This one. <laughs> So this I'm definitely going to have to try again. I'll probably try it yeah, maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow goes Sunday. Yeah. But yeah. So let's do, we're going to do 842 cats on the left side of my face. And I'm going to do the 855 on the right side. Now this foundation is really liquidy. And one pump, I can literally do my whole face with one pump. Because it's that liquidy. Let me get the, pump, the highlighter off my hand and I'll pump some on my hand and you can see how it went. Hey, kitty cats, be nice. Oh my. Well, let's swatch all three first off. Okay, so here's 840. Oh, on the, the pump here, you have to twist it to unlock it. That is a bonus because then it doesn't, you know, if you hit it by accident. But I'm just, this is like a tiny dot that I'm just going to put that. And you can see how one little dot is running. That's a tiny little dot. <laughs> Not even a, okay, so that's 840. This is 842. It's one of those pumps, if you push too hard, you are going to get, oh, I can unlock it. Bonus. Okay, so that'll be 842. <laughs> I can't believe how liquidy this is. And trust me, I've shaken it up. And here is 855. Okay. And that is literally the tiniest little. So let me make it straight down. So this one is a lot more yellow then, okay. So if I put these two next together on my face, I'm definitely not gonna match, but you can see how these two are so close, color-wise. And it, it made me like a little ghostly, but you know, obviously I'm always trying to match my neck, you know, my face. <laughs> But that yellow is definitely going to be off. Okay, so I'm probably going to definitely return that one. <laughs> That's why it's hard in store. Because you're under those fluorescent lights. And there's no real descriptions on these of, oh, you know, like pink undertones or whatever. So, looking in store. Actually, I got to put this light on because I can't see. <laughs> I can't see what I'm doing over here. Hold on. I'm going to go back to normal filming mode. Let me throw some lights on. All of them, four of them, yeah. Okay, a little brighter. My glasses go. Hope everyone's having a good night. Okay. 8.40. Son of a bitch. Natural beige. All right, that has a pinky undertone. 842 medium beige has more of a yellow undertone 
and 855 soft honey. I guess it's more of a peachy yellow tone, this deeper one. But these two are so close. Because, yeah, if I mix those, yeah, that's I can do that too. That's why I couldn't, these here mixed together, like, it's a decent shade. Let's see what happens if I mix the other two together. That might work. Shit. I have an odd skin tone, so I know that. All right. Let's play and find out. I mean, I gotta go. I'll have to try it again tomorrow anyway, just because I want to see it in natural light, not with all this. All right. I'm running out of brushes. That's my biggest problem. I still haven't washed my brushes. My shoulder is killing me. It's absolutely killing me. Oh, look at over here. I need a denser brush. Okay. I've got a motor brush here. All right. We're going to do 842. And these will have product left at the end, even if you do like the full pump. So I always have to kind of wipe it off to and then lock the little thing. 840. All right. That's with that. All right. So we're going to do 842 over here. I'm just trying to pump out. I mean, the, just a dab on my finger here will possibly be too much. I'm not used to doing this half my face yet. <laughs> Let's see what happens. I can definitely get away with this shade. Dab more for the just to bring it down my neck. A couple of dots right here, because I have some redness right here too that I'm always trying to cover. No drinking tonight. I'm here it might look crazy, but that's a pretty damn good match. Okay. But to me, it did transfer. I, if I took my finger and wiped it across my head hours later and then took a tissue, I was wiping it off. So I'm like, I don't know where they're coming up where it's transfer proof. <laughs> and only me. This is the part of being a beauty person on here. <laughs> I bought the new horse because I was in Walmart. Uh, the new Maybelline Sky High Mascara. To me, this is a dupe. We'll play with this another night. Glam putting this on right now. Is a dupe for Bad Gal Bang by Benefit. This packaging seems really light first off. It seems like it's empty. <laughs> it's very, very light. And I stupidly bought the waterproof. I didn't see it on there. And it's literally in this little blue thing here. Until I was ripping apart the packaging. I was like, oh shit, I bought the waterproof one. But a uh, very nice mascara. I do have to, I want to check the wand though against the Bad Gal Bang. But it's, you know, basically just a tapered wand. So I had this, the mascara on with the foundation. <laughs> and I was like, oh, let's see if it's really waterproof. So I have my hair, bottle of water that I spray my hair with. To do my hair in the morning. So I just blasted myself in the face twice just to see if the mascara would run. And it didn't. But then I said, okay, well, say I was just splashed with water and took, again, you know, a clean tissue and was like, let me just dab off my face. And it was coming off. So it was like, um, I didn't even break out of sweat. I mean, it's not like I was drenched in water, you know, because I have it on the spritz mode just to spritz my hair and get it ready in the morning. <laughs> nope. And it's the 24 hour claim. I don't like any of that. I'm just wiping off the brush. All right, now we're gonna do 855 soft honey over here. And I'm trying to just use like, I probably could have did the whole pump to bring it down my neck. I didn't think of that. 
I just want to see if it covers the dot on my nose. Wait a minute. Make sure I grab the right one here. Okay. Greg's up snowmobiling in Vermont. We have another big snowstorm coming tomorrow, I think. Like my body is so fucking broken from the last one. I'm like, oh my god! And I broke two shovels. I broke. I always have a shovel out front, shovel out back. Broke them both. It was funny when I broke the one shovel. I was like, oh shit! Well, let's go get the one down front. And I went down front, and I had just got home from work. It wasn't too far after. And there's a package on the stairs, and I was like, I just got home. There's nothing on the stairs. And I'm like, what the hell is this? The Vein Bakery. My girl Sarah, my massage therapist, sent me four Levain Bakery cookies. <laughs> and the Levain Bakery cookies are like this. They're six ounces each. And they are the best cookies to this day. And, my, and Sarah's a baker too, and she makes fabulous cookies. <laughs> In my book, Levain Bakery has the best cookies I've ever eaten. And that's what I miss going to New York, to go right to the bakery, because they have other things besides the cookies that are fucking amazing. Check them out. If you have Instagram, check them out. L-E-V-A-I-N Bakery in New York. And they do obviously deliver the cookies. So you can buy different cookie assortments and stuff. But oh, thank you, Miss Sarah. Because I was just like, oh, I need a cookie after breaking the shovel. <laughs> and the other one, I kind of broke that one from, you know, you have the shovel on the ground, you kick it. <laughs> I kicked it and smashed the whole backside of it off. And it was like, that pretty durable plastic too, but only me. Now this shade matches too. This is weird. Now my hand, they did look different. But even me just looking in my regular mirror that I get right to get right with me, it looks exactly the fucking same. How is that possible? Okay, that's does it look different to you? I swear to God, I look like the same exact shade on both sides, and I don't. Wow. Hmm. Interesting. Look, if I can get one shade to match me, now I have three that I <laughs> Like, the first one, like I said, makes me a little ghostly. But literally, by the time if you put on bronzer, blush, highlighter, all that, my hair is back down, you ain't going to tell the damn difference. Crazy. Okay, let me put the caps back on. <laughs> I can't believe they look almost identical. That is weird. Make sure I got the caps on the right one. Son of a bitch. So yeah, I'll be playing with this the next couple days. And due to snowstorm, we'll probably do a um, get ready to me the shovel or some shit as usual. Now it, it does, my face does feel dry. Not tacky. I want to let it set though before I can like run a finger down. Let's let, let's let it just do its thing. Throw in some lip balm. I've been hunting for these at TJ Maxx again. These are the um, Elizabeth Arden, it's like eight hour or something. Lip protection stick and they have SPF 15. I go through these like crazy. And this is my one from down here and mine upstairs, even when it gets to the bottom, I dig that shit out my finger. <laughs> I love these. I'm kicking myself in the ass when I grab them both boxes when they were there last time. <laughs> my drink. Iced tea. All right, I'm gonna go in this here. Even up close, it looks like the exact same shade of foundation. How is that possible? And there's different shades, obviously, in between. It's so weird. Hello, Deborah. 
I like the, my Milani doesn't have an orange shoe. Like I said, I have seven and now eight, which I gotta try. Oh yeah, you like your JD Glow? Oh my God, I, that, why do you think I placed another order? I was just like, this blue, I saw her swatch that and I just like, oh, yep, order time. <laughs> And I actually had to put them in my phone here. I I used to catalog all my makeup and then all this happened, YouTube. So I kind of been slacking. But on indie brands, I have to make a cat. I have a color note that I use. And I put in, you know, JD Glow. And then I put Galaxy, Shimmer. What the hell is the other one? Galaxy, Shimmer, Metallion, Metalin, whatever it is. And then I think I put full-size highlighters. Just so I don't buy doubles. Because again, online, I'm like, oh, that's pretty. And next thing I'm buying the same shade again, which I don't need to do. Hey, Yvonne. Hello, Miss Rosie. I do the vein cookies. Oh, my God. Better than sex. Well, close. Close. <laughs> yeah, that's that was like was always the main thing when I went to New York to all the shows. It was like, as soon as we're leaving to go, it was like, take me to Levain Bakery. I would come out of there with like hundred dollars worth of shit, a whole fucking bag just full of stuff. Cause you can luckily freeze them. They freeze very well. And actually speaking of frozen, if you have a whole foods, if you go on the Levain site and you just put in like your zip code or wherever, wherever you live, certain whole foods grocery stores have the cookies in the frozen section. And I think they're smaller and then you bake them yourself. So, cause I, I'm not a health food person, but I know Gina is. So I was like, oh my God, you're gonna buy these cookies. And we looked them up and here in Connecticut, they're like in one store down in like Milford or some shit. I'm like, I ain't driving an hour to go get the cookie. I could just go to New York for that and get the cookie. <laughs> but I'm thinking, so Gina already knows like, okay, if you're in your Whole Foods, just take a peek in the frozen section because you never know. Just cause it's not necessarily listed online doesn't mean it's not in the store. So, ooh, mm -mm -mm. All right, let's swatch this highlighter again since that other lighting was horrible. Okay, that's probably too damn dark for me, but you know me, I don't give a shit either way. <laughs> I'll rock anything. That is pretty though. Hello, Jennifer. <laughs> I gave, I gave, I think I gave you a warning in the get ready with me. I don't think I did. All right. Let's see what we got for shadows. Why do I keep pulling my glasses off my fucking head? Okay. Uh, Galaxy Collection. Prismatic. Nice funky green shade. Okay. Well, this is interesting. It's Got like a yellow base, green, obviously, and then like a blue sparkle to it. I'll have to do this on the regular camera, just so. You know, on the regular one, it usually shows the shifts better. Oh my God, here's this blue I was dying for. Uh, Metalin. Metallion, M E T A L L O N. Metal on? I don't know. Blue Avenue. <sighs> I want that as inner corner highlight. <laughs> That's the only reason I bought this. Just for an inner corner highlight. This this could be the one I've been looking for. I've said that a few times. Uh, another metal one. Oh, honey. It looks gorgeous. <laughs> oh, my God. Beautiful. And, oh, these were, again, uh, the full-size highlighter was sixteen fifty. The shadows, you do get like three grams of product. 2.7 grams, give or take, because these are the 37 millimeter pans. They're only $7.50, which is an incredible price. And then I did use the coupon code dupe that, D-U-P-E that. And it took $8.40 off the order. 
I didn't care if I had a coupon code or not. Like I said, I usually just try to dupe that or beauty cult. And it's usually one of them has it. Okay, then we got the Shimmer Collection. Martini. That fun green. That's nice too. Uh, Shimmer Collection Gleam. This is a beautiful champagne. Oh, that's pretty. It's like a pewter champagne shade. It's not necessarily silver. It's more of a pewter, I think. Because I know she came out with one that is like a silver. I didn't buy that one because I wouldn't use it. Uh, Galaxy Collection again. AKA. Nice hot pink. Oh, that's pretty too. Yeah. Uh, this one's new too. Uh, another metal one. <laughs> Rose Goals, G O A L S. There's an owl. Oh, sorry about my my blood thing. I smashed into the counter. That's pretty. It's really pretty. She makes beautiful shadows, ladies. I'm telling you. Uh, Galaxy Collection Sin. Looks like, oh, pink to green, maybe? Shots are going to shift. I have like a green bait. I'm going to put this up here in my hand. It does, it shifts green. It's right here. Let me fill that up. That's better. That's an interesting shade. That's better. It's almost translucent and then goes into a just a very light pink and that green. It's nice. All right, another metal one. Obviously, I like the metal ones. Hey, Poppy. Or Pappy? Pappy? Poppy? P-A-P-I. <laughs> I'm sure I said that wrong. What else is new with that? Brenda says it all wrong. Holy shit. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. I know on the phone it's weird, sorry. Shit. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is really nice. And some of them definitely just smooth it out a little bit. Wow, that's pretty. Oh, sorry, just distracted by the prettiness. <laughs> I'm gonna wipe my ears off that one. Like covered. Hi, beauty baby. Pretty kitty. That's an interesting shade. It goes to a pink to a green. Those are one of the ones you gotta definitely go out in like sunlight. Miss anything? There's a chocolate chip one for you, honey. I told you that. It's the chocolate chip walnut. You're lucky I'm even sharing with you. Hey, blue lily. <laughs> Laura's doing a little shopping. 
Yeah, they definitely, they, they glow just, uh, they're beautiful. And, I, and I'm laughing because I just uploaded the other video where I just did like everything I had. Where did I put them? You know, they're within reach. <laughs> All these, <laughs> which fit perfectly in here. So now I either have to go to a double-sided or, you know, just fill this one up too. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure she's going to keep making shades. <laughs> but, oh my God, they're nice. All right. What are we going to do here? Oh, look at me with these too. Oh, for fun, let's see how the highlighter looks. All right. Essence. Obviously, I don't have anything else on. <laughs> I can use this as an eyeshadow, too, though. It's not leaving a gray cast, which is good. So no, this is definitely wearable on me. And she showed um, in her descriptions, I think she'll say like, you know, fair to medium skin tones or medium to deep skin tones, because obviously we all can't wear the same color highlighters. Just can't. <laughs> like I can't really do lighter ones, like um, more on the white side or like that, because that sometimes looks absolutely that shit on me. You know me, I like to just oh, purple, pink. <laughs> That's beautiful. Beautiful. All right, what do we got here? That blue is definitely going on the inner corner. I know that. See, I don't have any mats because she's always out of the mats. But you know me, I'll put a shimmer in the crease. I don't give a shit. I do what I want. <laughs> There's rules, not in this house. I'm gonna go with that lime green in the crease. Uh, prismatic. Try to use the new ones. Did I put primer on? Probably not. Donate it. Not everybody has primer or uses it, so who says I have to? I don't know if that'll show up on a few. I can go into the olive green. That's right. Yeah, that definitely has a wild iridescence to it. Like little sparks of blue. I'm going to go into the olive shade. The darker one. Ah. Son of a bitch. Martini. You got to remember that. It actually makes a nice color combo. <laughs> You're not going to be able to see it on here, are you? Don't worry, we'll play with them on the other camera. <laughs> no worries. Come on, green, come off. It's a good cleaning cloth, too. Most of it. Oh, this is a Persona brush. Persona Cosmetics. All right, I definitely want to use this last shade that I just watched this one here. Do I have it deeper than that? I don't. Oh, snake peek. Here's more shit I picked up at Walmart. <laughs> the Physician's Formula Matte Bronzers, which do not 
smell like I grabbed them all, don't worry. The original. This you open it, and you're just like <sighs> this, I don't know what the hell it smells like. I'm bringing it in to Gina to let her smell the damn thing or I'll Greg when he comes home. <sighs> it's like suntan lotion, but without that tropical coconutty scent. Maybe it's just suntan lotion. It's just not the fucking same and it pissed me off. And these are actually two different colors. And they look so damn similar that it's like, okay, interesting. Isn't it fun when I'm live? I'm just all over the fucking place. <laughs> and then I grab this damn thing, the All-Star. This is matte, which is supposed to be one of those, which doesn't match either of those shades. <laughs> this doesn't match the bronzer shade, and it's supposed to be like, these are the all stars. This is supposed to be the Muramuru butter bronzer. This doesn't match any of them I have, and I have them all. I got the whole damn pile over there. And then this is the matte Manoi, whatever the hell that word is, butter bronzer. And it says limited edition. Well, that shade does not match either of those two over there. I don't actually own this one in the petal glow. I don't know why I didn't buy it. This is, I can't, I know it's somewhere. I have to keep hunting. But that's why I'm holding off on this. I have this too. This is all over spray on top. If you watch Emily Noel's video, she'll, she swatches it all. I do have this. It's depotted. So that's over there. And I don't own the mosaic powder. Just because I probably never bought the damn thing. I could not have use for it. You don't see me use a lot of powders. But yeah. I'm just trying to come over here and get a matte eyeshadow. <laughs> There's one of these in here. No. Give me my trusty mod. <laughs> yeah, this bummed me out. They don't smell the same. And then I lost the damn sticker off the back. I might as well just change the video to Walmart Hall, too. <laughs> All right, I'm busting out my trusty mauve palette. I don't even know. I'm just going to grab one of my mauves. Just to put something in it because I want to use that golden shade. So This is more on the mauve brown side. I let's say what it is on here. I don't label a lot of my shadows. Oh, I actually do have a kind of... Oh, this is a pinky rose eyeshadow. The name wore off. Mauve, maybe it might just be regular mauve. It's one of my deeper mauve shades. And Velvet 59 is the one I couldn't figure out the other morning. Really, that night, all of a sudden, I'm like, Velvet 59, how did I not know that? One of my first mauve shade. What the hell am I hearing outside? Is coyotes? I still haven't met my neighbors. They got some kind of garage band and I'm laughing going, I know they're younger, but I get along with all you younger crew in their 20s. <laughs> and they're actually pretty good rock and roll. So when I actually do meet them, I'll you know explain who I am and I'm gonna bust their ass and be like, maybe, maybe in the summer, obviously, <laughs> when it's warmer, like let's have a live jam session night on my YouTube channel <laughs> and see if they're down for it. From what I can, I can hear more of the drums and the bass than anything. But one night I did catch they were doing like a Rage Against the Machine song. So they're more, but the drummer and everything is great. <laughs> what I like to pick up is the drums and the bass usually. Can't hear too much singing. But I'm also like about 400 to 1,000 feet from them. So, but I think they're in the garage too. But they have to see me walking down the driveway with the, Either my big spirit hood thing on to get the mail all the time or delivery showing up. They just got to be like, this bitch gets packages every day. Mm -hmm. Came, went out on, when the hell did I go out? 
one day last week. I ran out to just get one item. Came back, fucking Sephora, that laser ship. The son of a bitch must have put it on top of the mailbox. As I'm pulling into my driveway, I go, what the fuck is this box in the road? My Sephora box. I, had, I bought the little Natasha Denona palette. That was the only damn thing in the box besides the samples. If a car would have came down the street, they possibly would have ran it over. I was fucking furious. Furious, to say the least. I was just like, I get the driveway, snow, all that. But he could have walked his lazy fucking ass down. Because I know I've called FedEx and UPS on it, and now they show up right at the door. <laughs> but that laser ship, huh? they're just like... I don't know who the fuck they are. All right, I gotta try this shade. Hey, Pappy, Poppy. I'm gonna try to put you on with a brush first. I'm just gonna grab a flat brush. See if it picks up with that. Because she has a different formula. Some are a little chunkier. Cats over here going nuts on something. God, kill me. Oh my lord. Let's find those boxes. I have so much cardboard to break down, but my telling my arm is killing me. I'm like I can't even move. It's gorgeous. Just for ha ha's, I'm gonna wet the brush. I'm just going to tip. Just the wet brush alone. There's no more product on it. I just want to tamp that over the top. Oh, I wish you can see this on here. Wow. Gorgeous. I want to do it with my finger, too. I can just... It's almost like a mirror. Look at that. It's crazy. It's the outside. I don't have any fallout either. As much as I hate applying the shadows with your right finger, if I have to do it, I will. Just... Well, I got one little piece of fallout. Because sometimes that's where the pigments... Once you kind of, your fingers warm, and then it smooths them out. Wow. That is freaking beautiful. Okay. So I'll put some on this side. Uh, what are we going to do? Because I'm doing blue in the inner corner on both of them. So. All right. We got that funky green. I have one play with. All right. Let's, what's this one do? All right. Let's play with this one. This is another one that changes colors. Um, Peachy Keen from the Galaxy Collection. So this goes peach to gold, obviously. Peach. Or no, peach to green. Duh. I got my hand. Dumbass. Yeah, peach to green. I'm just going to play with my finger. There, you should be able to see the green. Oh my. That is. Okay, for me dragging my finger, I definitely have it on the side of my face now. I know one here you can't see it as good. That is it. I'm going to do the same thing with the brush too. Just to tap it with a wet brush. Oh, 
Yeah, give me a second. Now, I gotta see what the hell these cats are doing. I think the brush is still wet. Let's see that. Wow. Yep. For seven dollars and fifty cents, ladies, they are worth a try. And if you use the code, you get money off. So it's got to be a ten percent or twenty percent code. Probably ten. Let's see what these dipshits are doing over here. Ugh. Uh, what are you doing? Yeah, you. What are you doing? Yeah. You stuck? Hi. Would you like to come say hi? Come here. Yes. Come say hi to everyone. Guess who? Miss Beauty, baby. Look up. That's so cute, though. Look at those eyes. She's got the best golden eyes. Ah, don't you? She's over there playing in the boxes. Let's see what I can get. Oh, get me. She's going to go right back and play with the boxes, obviously. For ha-has. I'm in a ha ha mood. Let's do what did I do with that highlighter brush? Don't need this one. I might try this as a highlighter. Hold on. Is this one that goes green though? Hold on. No, that one goes green. We'll go to the other palette. Which color does this go? I think that one goes more pinky blue. This eye's eye can show you. Oh, yeah, this is opal. So that's right there. I'll put this as a highlight, and you'll see how it's too light for me. I'm going to go white with this because who knows what's about to happen here. Okay, luckily it's not leaving the gray cast. But with me, I can just about get that gray cast going. And I just like touched that freaking pan. Come on. Don't forget, eyeshadows is highlights, highlights is eyeshadows. Wow. This I want to look at outside too. That would be fun. Damn foundation looks exactly the same. Oh, I know how we can figure out the foundation later. I'll just take a wet wipe and we'll like wipe over here and wipe over here. <laughs> See what happens with it. Yeah, once you buff that in, I can actually pull that off. Am I missing any hot gossip on here? What's going on, ladies? Fairy acid. Twisted kitty. Like, if I got hooded eyes, the shimmer's going to end up there anyway. <laughs> There's no damn rules. I think it was like an 80s thing. We, we didn't have a choice. Yeah, I keep seeing about those Odin's eye palettes. They're 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 in the they're on the list. <laughs> exactly. No rules of makeup because it just washes off. That's what you see me doing all the time. Uh, oily eyelid primer, yeah, Urban Decay. I love the Smashbox. That's one of my favorites. This, this silvery one. And I recently tried this one, too. The other Smashbox. But even Elf. <laughs> Milani. <laughs> Busy Art. <laughs> Natasha Denona is a stickier one. I have the Hourglass. We got Laura Mercier. We got Marc Jacobs. And I got three different Urban Decays in there. 
Laura Mercier. What the hell is this one? Lorac. Drugstore, definitely. Milani. What else is there? Ah. Too Faced. Oh, God, yeah. Way too many primers. I like the Milani one, too. That's really good. That's kind of comparable almost to, like, the Smashbox. Right, give me that blue. Give me that blue. Oh, that one went in the one here. Yep, I have the Natasha the Don't Eye Primer here. Yeah, like I said, it's a stickier base. I have the shade 02 Medium. I think there's a light one, too. I just kind of go with everything that says fucking medium on it. But I find it's a stickier base, which is fine. I got to see my mom, yes, for like five minutes again. <laughs> She get it was so funny. She had given me chocolate chip cookies for Greg. Then she made him a dozen oatmeal cookies without raisins because Greg doesn't eat raisins. And then she gave me like two dozen oatmeal cookies. And I was laughing because I'd come home with all this shit from my mom of all these cookies. And then Sarah sent the cookies. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna gain 10 pounds this week eating cookies, but it's all good. It's worth it. <laughs> I still have that box of dollars over there for my birthday. Yep. <laughs> I think I needed a tip money one night and I ran down and ripped off like four dollars. I was like, I need tip money for the driver. Why is my husband calling me? I can't answer the phone, I don't think, while I'm doing this. No. I'm not hitting answer. I'm just gonna decline it. Sorry, babe, I love you, but. Oh, I'm back. I'm back. I hit fucking decline and it threw me over to him like it was going to talk and then I hung up on him. Oh, shit. You girls still see me? Holy fuck, the cat just knocked over a whole pile of boxes. Okay, we're good? Why would he call me? He fucking knows I'm on live. I can't phone while I'm doing this at the same time. Well, I could, but obviously, because it, it said to me, reconnecting. Oh, fuck, it's blurry. Shit. Okay, hopefully we're good. We'll give it a second to probably have to reconnect. Fucking cats are losing their mind. Oh, my God. It's like fucking chaos out here. Oh my god, where's my fucking eyeliner that we do? All right, busting out my next full white and the blue. Because I'm putting on that blue. There's a inner corner. Did he come back on here? No. I figure he'll just pop on here and be like, love you, good night. Fucking racetrack in here right now. Now blues in on it too. <laughs> I love my kitties though. They're so fun. All right, we got her coastal suns brush. Fucking cigarette. This is a shadow that's more, I have to like kind of dig the brush into it a little bit. That's okay though. Okay. I'm definitely trying this tomorrow because I think this is the blue I've been looking for. Because I know which blue I'm trying to dupe. I've been trying to dupe it for years. Should be behind me. Oh, that's good. Right. 
Hold on. I have to look shit around. Where did I put that knot? Okay. Well, it's in the beauty bar, baby. My baby bat beauty palette. I still don't fix my rug. <laughs> There's a, let me probably get that. The blue that is marbled in here, I, I don't even think they make this shade anymore. I don't even have the shade name on it. That blue I started wearing in the inner corner when I got this and I fell in love. I even asked them and they were kind of new. That's probably why they didn't answer me. I was like, can you just press me a shadow of that blue that you used in the shadow? Cause I obviously hadn't knew the name at the time. And I was like, I will obviously buy it off you and pay and all that, but I just want a full pan of that blue. And they never got back to me, <laughs> which I understand. But I've been trying to dupe it ever since. It's pretty damn close. I mean, it's a different formula. Kitty cats, Jesus Christ. It's still not exactly the same. I can't see that. Oh, I can't put my arm in that way. I actually like the JD Glow better because it has a little more shine to it of the metallic nature but the bottom swatch is just a little like has a little hint of purple in it and it's funny because then they came out with this shade which was called and actually i have a I ripped off the tag on here called mermaid dreams and that blue was not this because i said oh my god that's probably the blue that they used in the other one and it's not the same blue i don't think it is No. Nope. Nope. Okay. That was right. <laughs> but the JD Glow is one of the closest that I've found in a while. Because <laughs> even one time, you know, when it was at night, you know, you get bored and you go, I'm going to find a goddamn dupe for that shadow. And you start going through like every damn blue eyeshadow you have and going, why can I not dupe this shadow? Because it's nothing, you know, it's just a light blue. But I think that might be it. Because I'm digging that. And yes, I will rock a blue in her highlight. I don't give a shit. <laughs> you see my little light strip over here? I actually have enough of that shit where I can like Go a second, either put it on like a second row underneath and do it all the way back. Oh my god, that thing's so long. Okay. Wow, those are pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh my god. Yeah, so now I gotta figure out what kind of. Because I don't want it to pot these highlighters. I do, but I don't. Because <laughs> I have this one and then. The other two I've been keeping right in front of me since they're so pretty. And chaos. Oh my god, this one's gorgeous too. This does that goldy pink or peach again. You know I want that goddamn highlighter from Pat McGrath. That one does look fluffy. And that one's striking. But again, it's the same color highlighter as like a hundred that I own that are gold with the pink flip or the pink with the gold flip. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna be a good girl. Wait till it maybe goes on sale somewhere or something. Okay, yeah. I'm digging the blue. Yes. And the shadows are gorgeous. 
I wish you can see it better on here. All right. Cigarette. Oh my God. Any questions? Any hot gossip? Ooh, new show. Resident Alien. Fucking watch it. Fucking funny. I don't know if Greg's still on here, but honey, I watched episode two, and then as soon as that was over, it let you actually watch episode three. So I'm an episode up on you. It's fucking funny. I always need a good show to make me laugh, and I'm just like, oh yeah, this is going to be the new show that Greg and I don't watch a lot of TV together. He has his shows, I have mine, or I'm doing this or whatever. We do our own shit, obviously. But that, we're like, oh yeah, that and BattleBots we watch. There's a lot of women in BattleBots now. I'm like so impressed. I'm like, you go girls. Look at that, what they're building those fucking badass BattleBots. I'm like, right on. These are fun. Yeah, if you want the a dupe for Bad Gal Bang, this is it. But I don't know if it comes in. I'm guessing it would come in non-waterproof. But it came right off. And I, but I always use dual action um, waterproof eye makeup remover anyway, regardless, because I really don't wear waterproof because I don't cry. <laughs> and I'm not going out in the rain. <laughs> The only time I probably wear waterproof, I usually probably keep a mini around, is if I do have a funeral to go to. And only on the rare occasion have I ever bust out at a funeral. And crying, because it's very rare. I've got more brushes to wash. Oh my god, I'm just going to wash every brush I have at this point. Oh, I should read the fucking comments if I want to see if you comment, huh? <laughs> Oh. Uh, hi, Teresa. These are the JD Glow eyeshadows. This is the new ones I just picked up. And there's a video from the other day of all these that I just swatched. And then the pink palettes just, um, I have always set aside. Where did I put it? And I used to do a lot of potting. I like a lot of mauve shades and purples. So these I keep on standby. Because I use these three the most probably for a crease color. And then on this side there's just some neutrals of God forbid I need a neutral shade. But down here, these are like dose of colors. There's probably a couple dose of colors palettes in here. So I can tell by the designs. There's dose of colors. What else we got in here? No idea. No idea. Sugar pill. <laughs> I know these are dose of colors. I can tell by the design. Those are all dose of colors. Like these are probably Inglot or Makeup Forever. Can't yeah, remember I I had you know makeup before I did YouTube, so no, these are Makeup Forever. These big ones. Ah, uh, Suva Beauty. Love Suva. You like those liners? She makes fabulous ones. She makes UV ones too. I have a shitload of those somewhere too. Here though. Water activated. Those things work great. Uh, another sugar pill. <laughs> Give me glow. Another gimme glow. It's a square one. Inglot. <laughs> Inglot is so underrated. They make fabulous shadows. You can get them at like Macy's or just direct from Inglot. Uh, Sydney Grace. What's this one? Uh, it has an M number on it, so this is a Makeup Forever. Uh, give me Glow again. Another dose of colors. More Sydney Grace. So yeah. I have a thing about purples and mauves that I have to hazel eyes. So I can always use that in the crease for pretty much any eyeshadow. And I have a blue palette that I've set aside too that's buried under all that shit behind me that I just showed you from Walmart. <laughs> and that's the blue palette where I've been trying to find like the perfect blue. 
that like I just put on. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> I, I'm glad I make you guys laugh. I'm so glad I make you laugh. Oh, honey, you are on here. I thought you went sledding. Didn't I see that on Facebook or some shit before I came down here? Be careful with the alcohol in the sled. You know I don't like that. So that's everyone but me must be loved. <laughs> Honey, you know I love you. I'll see you. I could drink coffee right now. I don't know what the hell time it is. 10 o'clock at night? I can, yeah, I can drink coffee right now easily. Go, Rosie, drink that bourbon, girl. Jesus Christ, honey. Sh moonshine, bourbon, brandy, and beer. Holy fuck. You're going to sleep like a baby tonight. We have a bottle of wine that I'm too lazy to grab because it was on a rack. <laughs> My cat knocked it all the way to the back. <laughs> you have two sleds. You have more than most people have. You already have two. You don't need another new one. Sorry, babe. Love you. We're in the middle of a pandemic, darling. Like I keep saying, we're not buying any big purchases during a pandemic. <laughs> yeah, definitely try the JD Glow. over here she's gonna be like what i miss i have jd glow on both <laughs> oh thank you they look pretty i think i missed the makeup forever I, what the hell did i end up with some random fucking nail polish i totally forgot i didn't end up doing it until later in the night and uh, skincare item and something else. I don't know the fucking box ship, so it's coming. <laughs> now she looks. No, have one going to trade for a new one. If you can trade it and I don't have to make any fucking payments on it, go for it. But I'm still paying out in something. No, I got a shit I still pay for. No. <laughs> Don't get drunk and go buy shit. No. <laughs> Big good boy. <laughs> I'm all drunk and I'll be out buying fucking $30,000 goddamn snowmobiles or some shit. I haven't been on either of the ones we fucking own. Bring one home. We have like another two feet coming or some shit. Yeah, I mean, my body's so fucked up. I couldn't want no goddamn snowmobile. I mean, just ride around the yard or something. That would be fine. But to go on like a long ride, no way. Especially after just jacking up my fucking shoulder again, my back. I, I hip checked myself. Oh my God, on my fucking desk at work. Right into my hip, where right where my bursitis is. I almost dropped to the fucking floor. I was trying to answer. I was coming around the desk trying to answer the phone. I was just like slammed right dead into that fucking point. And of course, I have a bruise like this big on you know, my fucking hip going. <sighs> Never fucking fails. Never fails. That walking's hard. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> I was running around the desk. Honey, I think it's past your bedtime. You're supposed to go to bed. What time do I start this? Eight? So it's got to be what? No, I'm on here an hour or ten, so it's a little after nine. Gotta watch Saturday Night Live tonight. Well, the foundation hasn't oxidized. That's for damn sure. Oh, what else did I buy? Shit everywhere for me. 
since I was in the Maybelline section, these are new too. What the fuck is this thing called? Ultimat. And I have more mauve, $5.99. Now this reminds me of that fail I had from L'Oreal. What the hell do I do with that? I still fucking got it. This here. I remember L'Oreal and Maybelline are the same fucking company. This is dry as hell. Hated this. And th this is called L'Oreal Matte Lip Crayon. Don't like it at all. And then I saw Maybelline come out with these. See, and that's what L'Oreal and Maybelline do. They test drive shit through one brand. And if it works, you'll see it come out on the other side. Because Maybelline and L'Oreal, there's like, what, 2 to $3 price difference? It's the same shit. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> But this one, yeah. tissues, oh my God. Makeup fucking things. These stupid things. It's a twist up. Oh, well, that's as much product as you got. One point seven grams. The standard lipstick is three. Just so you know. I have so much fucking highlighter on. I'm gonna get it all over the lipstick. It's nice. It's not gonna be. Um. Long wearing, it's not going to be mask proof, any of that shit. It's one of those that almost feels like a little heavy on your lips, if you know what I mean. It's not terrible. But I, this thing just was, <clears throat> I hated this L'Oreal. It, it like, felt like it was really sucking the life out of your lips. But literally, I just got this. I think I've worn it twice. But yeah. Just think I'm going to have to refilm all this crap. <laughs> Fuck it, Kurt. But great shade, though. I love the shade. But it just doesn't. It's, it's definitely the matte finish. Like I said, I can feel it on my lips. It's not uncomfortable, but it's not, oh, like I can't feel it at all comfortable. Like I feel the the stain ones, the matte inks that are killer. Those I can feel less on my lips than this. It's weird. Probably it's like a thicker texture, I want to say. Uh, we have more snow coming. Oh, good night, babe. Love you. I'll call, you, call me in the morning sometime, whenever. I think I just saw a commercial for that, Rosie. The Maybelline waterproof 36-hour one. Because I was like, wait a minute, don't I fucking own that? And I was like, no, I have the Maybelline brow extensions. And this I just go through way too quick. Yeah, this I'm almost done with this freaking tube too already. And I'm only doing get ready with me. You got to figure twice a week. I ain't putting fucking brow shit on if I ain't going anywhere. Let me know how that one is, Rosie. Because I may have to try it. Not that I give it. Because right, I'm still doing that brow shit every night too, trying to grow my brows. And I always laugh like 36 hours. Like, how's it not going to come off? Because I double cleanse. I said, so what am I supposed to do? Like, I mean, because I'm just going to town here, you know? Massaging my whole face. <laughs> How am I not supposed to get my freaking eyebrows in on that? Like, go, oh, shit. Oh, go around the eyebrows. Don't touch them. That's going to be weird. 
You want to know how that flies? Because <laughs> even now, I, I rarely put makeup on, obviously, at 8, 9 o'clock at night. That's just not my thing. When I do get raised with me, it's get ready with me to go to work, and I'm going to work. Or if I tell you I'm getting ready with me to go snow plowing. <laughs> Oh, I love that blue. I love that blue eyeshadow. I did not get my trend mood box yet. <clears throat> when the hell did I? When did I say it's coming? Um, Tuesday or Wednesday, maybe it's supposed to show up. I see other girls probably got it, but I, they're probably in California. I'm in Connecticut, so shit takes longer to get her. And I did do another Zoeva order, if I didn't tell you. <clears throat> I was like, all right, let's see how long this one takes. <laughs> I waited two months for the last one, and I showed you that box where it's just one side's this big, the other side flat, but everything made it. And I did pick up from them. They had their foundations on sale for $14. So again, I grabbed two shades, see what happens with that. And then another... It was a set that goes with. I figured I'd grab a fucking bronzer. It'll be the other shade of this, which is bright, bright gold. I, I could probably definitely, without, we'll try it. But just by looking at it, I'm like, that would probably just be either to take pictures of <laughs> or wear only as an eyeshadow. Because I, I, just by the shade, I'm like, I definitely don't think I can pull that crazy bright yellow gold off but we'll try it because we'll try everything but so far i can tell it's like left germany i think because what i do i did jd glow trend mood sephora i got that in i got my macy's order yeah so all i'm really waiting on is trend mood and Macy's, I just bought like a Tarte palette, the ABH highlighter, and something else. I had Macy's money to use, so gotta use that Macy's money. Ulta hasn't had anything, and I'm like, I still have a twelve dollar gift card with them. I want to use up Wait, on something in the sales section. Let's just play. I'll look like a crazy bitch on her own. Okay. I can just do well. My neck, I'm gonna. We're just gonna do a little test with a makeup wipe. Even if I wipe my face off with a makeup wipe, that is not considered any way of cleansing ever. Because this is what I, what I would do upstairs to go, let me see like what color this foundation, you know, comes off as. So if I'm, you know, just right here. And I want to see like the coverage. So I can go, oh, okay, it's more. And that's obviously not that heavy of a thing because they did say that foundation is buildable. But if you see me, I don't put on 20 pumps of foundation. I mean, even on the white, both shades almost look identical. <laughs> and one is eight what 42 and the other one's 855 so there's a big shade range let's see you should be able to see the red there so it does it did cover the red there and there and now i'm gonna look insane take that foundation brush oh no it's not covering that side <laughs> No. But I still don't think it's transfer proof. But if I wipe my neck, so I get on my finger. You can see it's, yeah, you know, right there. Not that I did, my finger wasn't wet or anything. But to me, I still ain't getting the transfer proof, all that. It feels dry. It's definitely not sticky or anything. But I try to use as least amount of product as possible. <laughs> That's why you never see me put on layer upon layer of foundation, 
concealer, any of that, of just be you. Let your skin kind of just, I'm just trying to cover, say, that redness, anything like that. I'm not trying to look like cake face or have tons of product on. Because I used to love the original one. That it was just like the original three in one. I went through multiple bottles of that. Again, before YouTube. <laughs> oh my God. It's almost back to massage time. I can't wait. I'm going to wear an N95. I don't give a shit, but she needs to beat me up. And she will soon. She's like, I'll be, you're going to be my first. I'm like, oh, I know. And you can take it all your aggravation on me. Bring it on, girl. Deep tissue massage, that is. Oh, God, everything's just popping and cracking. I can't believe we have more snow coming. And that I broke both shovels, so Greg has to pick up shovels on his way home. Yeah, see the brows and lashes. That's why I said we're getting that. Um, I won't use those eyelash serums for my lashes. So I did start putting the one that came in the one box on my brows. Going, I know my brows enough since I don't. I'm not crazy plucking them and all that. So I've been concentrating on the front part, going along the top. I and mean, I was jamming that shit in everywhere. But I'm like, we'll see if it grows. Yeah, I don't know who the hell's wearing makeup for 36 hours. Even 12 hours is plenty. I'm happy if I can make it six to eight. <laughs> Even eight's fine. A regular job would be, you know, eight hours. Oh, thank you, Laura. I think it's strange that these companies say that shit too. 24 hour, 36 hour, like what? No. Unless they're hookers going full out, making their money. <laughs> I don't know who the hell's working 36 hours. Even hookers gotta sleep for Christ's sakes. Makeup maniacs. Did they change names? Were they makeup monsters before? Something like that? Exactly, Rosie. You just I just want the shit to last a day without looking crazy on me. I haven't even swatched that ABH highlighter yet. It has just the coolest. I did put, throw up two pics on Instagram where I was able to pull the gold shift. And of course, I need to go shoot it with the actual camera here out in the dark. Because I want to see how, um, it, since it is such a weird shape, I should be able to get some kick-ass pictures in the dark. I'm so weird like that. Yeah, see, look, I'm, for my age, I'm lucky I still have eyebrows. <laughs> I'm, I, you know, 80s, 90s, 2000s, I never did any of that wicked thin brow. No, I just always kind of kept them basically like they are now, just brows. I never went berserk on them. I actually have eyelashes because I'm not wearing lashes all the time. Because people just are always ripping them out. Especially with lockdown. I mean, I, I, even now I've made it like every fucking night I'm doing some type of mask and I have a shitload of sheet masks on the side. But other than that, I have with all these boxies and ipsies and all this skincare. And plus I get PR from skincare companies that I'm like, oh no, every night as soon as I take the makeup off, double cleanse, bam, some kind of mask goes on. <laughs> no matter which one, I just open the thing and go, let's pick a different one tonight and go for it. I'm the most smash leave on what 10 minutes? Psh, rinse it off, bam, throw on all the skincare and done. Mm. Bought the highlighter, yay. I'll have to look up makeup maniacs. Do I have a pen? Of course I don't have a fucking pen. I should really remember that. Hopefully I can remember that. Hit me up on Instagram if you have to and go, B, makeup maniacs. <laughs> I like that Maybelline brow thing. It's not bad. I, I bought this sucker on a whim. 
literally on a whim. I normally just use powder. I just do a quick thing. I don't have to do much of them, luckily. Yeah, I've glued my eyes together. That sucks with lashes in the beginning. That's one of those when it's just one of those things you have to practice at it. Of how much glue to get on there. And then letting the glue, you know, especially duo glue, you got to let that shit sit for like 45 seconds to a minute before you even attempt to put them on. One that I did try recently, the sucker worked. I showed you guys, um, any who's, that's the mirror I've been holding in my hand here. Cynthia had sent me over some lashes too. These here, they're called Trixie who's. And I tried out, this came in one of the boxes too. The Lily Lashes um, Power Liner. It's adhesive eyeliner. And I actually just bought, what the hell did I do last night? I did a Milani haul. And they had, I think, lash glue in a, it's like it's literally like liquid eyeliner. But it's lash glue. And the shit worked. I couldn't believe it. I was like, because I've done the magnetic, they work. The magnetic stuff works great. But this was crazy if I just put it on like eyeliner and this says, you know, don't even wait 15 seconds or some shit. And I took the lashes and bam, they stuck right on. I was like, holy shit, it actually works. I'm always shocked when things work. But I love the magnetic ones. Yeah, anybody seen the new Milani palettes they launched? You had to have. Because as soon as I saw it, I went, oh, look at Milani trying to dupe Charlotte Tilbury. And that's the stoned rose palette that she has. And I gave that to Miss Gina for her birthday or Christmas, one of the two. And I had sent her a picture of the Milani going, look familiar. <laughs> and she knew immediately that the setup's a little different, but you get the, the vibe of, holy shit, they're trying to dupe the Charlotte Tilbury where there's eyeshadow, bronzer, highlighter, probably blush in there. They're 15 bucks. I went on Milani last night and said, fuck it. Bought both palettes because there's two. Light, fair, or some shit, and dark, medium. I bought them both. Fuck it. Bought them both. Bought a lippy. I might have bought an eyeliner. Like I said, this liquid eyeliner for lashes. I don't know if that was Milani or somebody else. Or maybe that's coming in one of the boxes. I don't know. But I did a Milani haul last night. I only spent 40 bucks. I found some 15% off random coupon on Retail Me Not. Oh my god, my sinuses are killing me. And took like seven, eight bucks off the order. So I was like, cool, like one of the little new lippies they had. It's like a gloss thing. I'm like, well, that was basically free and plus free shipping. And I think it was like free shipping anything over 25. So I was like, well, shit, I could have bought one palette, but oh no, not me. I got to have both because you never know. But then Gina's going to bring me in the Stone Rose palette. Not that it's going to match it color wise because I doubt that. But just so I can show you, like it is, you know, because you know I don't put, I don't edit. So I don't know how to put a picture in the corner here and go, that's the Milani I'm talking about. Or the Charlotte. I don't know how to do any of that. <laughs> what you see is what you get. <laughs> oh, I forgot to take my fucking Zyrtec till I almost came on here. I was feeling weird most of the day going, what the hell is wrong with me? Because I almost wasn't going to film. I wasn't feel. I was just feeling off. And all of a sudden I look and I go, holy shit, you didn't take your Zyrtec. And if I don't take the Zyrtec and all that, I usually take it every morning. So I don't know why I missed it this morning. Who the hell knows? So I, that's all kicking in now. Got a new humidifier for the bedroom. The thing is dead silent. I couldn't believe it. Amazon was like 30 bucks. Greg is driving him nuts in the bedroom getting real dry. And the other one is, we have a bigger one that's loud as fuck. I'm like, no, nope. I'm like, this fucking thing says it's silent. Use it at a nursery. I'm like, all right, let's see what you got. And I can't even hear it. <laughs> it's dead silent. The cats, of course, were walking up to it going, because they could see the, the steam or like, you know, the coming out of the water. They're just like, what the fuck is that? I'm like, oh God, hopefully they don't start licking it. <laughs> Because the little two little ones, the one I had here, Beauty and Indy, they love playing in the sink and in the tub. Don't know why. And plus I bring in snow when it snows and make snowballs for them and throw them across the room. Let them play. It's just snow, just water. 
wiped right up. I'm a cool mom. <laughs> cool fur, fur baby mommy. Yeah, falsies. I mean, you as long as I mean, you're supposed to put them as close to your lash line as possible. And the adhesives really, they do peel off pretty easily. Because most are kind of latex based, which kind of sucks because it's on your eye, which isn't the best. But eyelashes in general, I mean, they can just fall out. I don't use Morphe, honey, so I couldn't tell you about that. Soap and Glory, I like. I take two Zyrtec a day, Rosie. Two! You guys still got fires going there? I haven't heard about that in California. I, I wasn't sure if they were still going on or not. Fucking weather's insane. I mean, here it's winter. I don't give a shit. Bring on the snow. Bring it on. But then I can't win. I'd love to photograph on the snow. But I need clouds. I had a couple days, the sun has been not a cloud in the goddamn sky. And there's no way I could take pictures because first it blows the colors out of everything. And then reflecting off, it, it's like I'm snow blind. I even had in my kitchen window, it was bouncing off like the hot tub and everything. It was blinding me in the damn house. I had to like bring all the blinds down to go, holy shit. I can't even go out there because there's no clouds. Like, it, you know, that's mother nature and me. We, we have to get along to play in the, to take my pictures. Oh, good, no fires. But it's definitely been, your fires came to Connecticut, the smoke, at one point, because it was so bad. Between when you guys were on fire and Australia, and Australia might be on fire again, I think, because now they're in summer again. All that smoke, they showed it. It went right across, and I did. I had totally smoked out gray skies for about three days. People tend to forget, we all live on this blue fucking rock together. The fucking air goes around our whole fucking planet. The water's all interconnected, all of that. And people tend to forget of, just because it happens here doesn't mean it stays there. Shit goes into the atmosphere, it goes around our whole fucking planet, and people don't seem to get that sometimes. That's what's disturbing, where they don't believe in climate change and all that. And I get the controlled fires, because they do that, you know, to hopefully prevent future fires, but, you know. Oh, my lungs are so coated with everything. <laughs> I, I kind of laugh, like, good luck, COVID. If you can get through these, bring it on. <laughs> But, you know, um, don't forget, the Jewish lasers from space made your fires. Can't believe that woman's in Congress. <laughs> oh, my God. She's fucking queuing on nut. And they're trying to walk her shit back. Fuck her. She's another crazy bitch. <laughs> See, Rose, anytime you need to laugh, honey, you just call me. <laughs> Make you fucking laugh. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like even laughing going, all right, now you guys know. I mean, if you watch me enough, you know it's like get raised with me. People hate that beauty bloggers and shit talk about politics, but fuck you, it's my channel. I'll talk about whatever the fuck I want. And with, you know, the orange idiot gone, oh, life is good. But seeing that wacky bitch, but now I got the goddamn thing on Tuesday and I'm like, I normally go to work on Tuesday. And I'm like, okay, maybe I'll go on Monday because <laughs> I want to watch it. I watched the last one, so I definitely plan on, well, with all this fucking snow, I probably won't be able to go on Monday. Maybe I'll just go on Thursday again this week. But I, I, you know, I want to watch my impeachment trial. <laughs> and I knew when they asked him to come, I'm like, this motherfucker is not going to show up. There's no way. He'd perjure himself in the first two seconds. Guy's a fucking asshole. Oh, Laura, honey, I keep it real. I have no reason not to. <laughs> Everybody should keep it real. I don't get why people... Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I guess the other day I was just like binge watching again John McClane videos. I've already watched them all. 
It was just like, I just need to lay there and hear his soothing voice. The motherfucker can read the dictionary and I'd be happy. He's just calm and soothing. And then he always reminds me of certain products like my Embrolays. I'm like, where did I put my Embrolays? I know I got my Embrolays somewhere. I always used to use Embrolays. And he starts switching out. And then all these fucking primers that I got upstairs now with Bobby Brown, the vitamin enriched face base and that Tatcha that I'm like, I got to use that thing. It's expensive. I don't want to, you know, I got it in that trend mood box, but still it's an expensive ass product. I want to use it up. But Embrolase is a great moisturizer, especially for winter. So I know I have one upstairs. I actually have a backup. I have two. I need to break one out because it's perfect for winter. It really is. Uh -oh. <laughs> Be careful driving, Blue Lily. <laughs> and Teresa, you're always saying everything I think. Well, I'm glad people think alike. It is nice to see adults back running our country and shit getting done that needs to be done. It's nice. It's nice. The only thing that pissed me off, me and my mother were laughing today about this one. The crazy QAnon fuck with the horns, the lunatic dude. The fact that they took and moved him prisons because the other, the one prison didn't have organic food is infuriating. It's like, motherfucker, I would have fed you bread and water and go, there's your fucking meal, take it or leave it. Or here's what everybody else is getting. Yeah, and oh, he's gonna go on a hunger strike. He's not gonna eat. That's his fucking problem. He's a grown ass man. Treat him like a little fucking kid of, you ain't gonna eat it. Don't fucking eat it. Then starve. Not my problem. Here's your next tray of food the next morning. You ain't gonna eat it. Not our fucking problem. Get off your ass. You get hungry enough, you'll fucking eat it. That's bullshit. And then the other chick they let go to Mexico for a vacation. I'm like, wow. If that don't prove white privilege, holy fuck. Because damn, that's all that shit's just totally wrong. Move prison so you can have your fucking organic diet. Fuck you. One of those prisoners rape your ass. That'll be organic. <laughs> they have plenty of organic to share. But at least things are getting done again. Oh yeah, my blood pressure is already down to like, ah, just calm. But I, I just, I want those Republicans to, I want them to do a secret vote again, like they did the other day. If they did a secret vote on the impeachment, the all ones are a bunch of pussies. They're afraid of Trump for some fucking reason. Why they're afraid of this man, I have no idea. But in a secret vote, they would vote to get his ass the fuck out and never be able to hold office again, ever. That's what we all need to happen. But they're a bunch of pussies who talk a lot of shit. But uh-uh. And if I was the Dems, I'd be like, fine, let's secret vote this motherfucker. Then nobody knows who voted for what. Why not? They're all pissed off at Liz Cheney because, you know, God forbid she's a Republican, but going by her conscience of, I'm supposed to be following the Constitution. That's what they swear a fucking oath to. Not to Trump. Ugh. Make me gag. It's so gross. So gross. All right. All right. I'm like, my society says they're killing me. I gotta go blow my nose. Oh, and you know how I know this isn't transfer proof? Because when I had it on, especially with allergies, blowing my nose, you know, you like, you know, pull the tissue. Oh, yeah, foundation all right here gone from blowing your nose. That's why I'm confused about the transfer proof, humidity proof, and sweat proof. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the mascara is waterproof. That's after I blasted myself in the face with the water. The mascara didn't move. All right, my ladies. Any other questions? <laughs> the Austin Powers with the laser beams. I know I'm fucking dying. Um, labs prescription box. 
The last thing I need is lashes. I have like 200 pairs of lashes. And the magnetic ones are great. They do. They work great. I did a video on them. Yes, none of them should get special treatment. Oh, Kyle, that teenager too, that little fucker from what, Wisconsin or wherever? He's fucking missing in action. Little fuck. Another one gets away with just fucking walking down the street shooting people. What the fuck is up with that? The prisoners and the vaccines, I know, it pisses my mom off too. The prisoners, they kind of get used as test bunnies too. You didn't hear that from me. <laughs> But yeah, I remember they, in fact, that's how a girlfriend of mine works at a prison. She got COVID from the prison. And she wasn't even in the COVID wing because once the fucking prisoners started getting it, obviously they made like a whole wing of the prison for COVID and it overtook the place and all the fucking employees kind of got it. So they got to get those fuckers vaccinated as much as it sucks because I'd rather have Actual people out there in the world of you essential workers who I love, all my nurses and doctors and grocery store workers and gas stations and every, you know, buddy who has essential jobs really should get it before the prisoners. But at the same time, we got to protect the prison guards and them at the same time. So they, because there was just another prison thing happened too. Another riot, I think I just saw. And it's just like, fuck, it, that, that's a... That's a tough one because I do have friends that are cops. I have friends who are, you know, security guards and prison guards. And I know people from all walks of fucking life, which, which sucks. <laughs> Bobby Joe, you live in Canada and you're never so glad to see Trump go. Oh my God, that, that makes us too. The, the shit that went on in the Capitol is still just appalling. Um, Rosie, yeah, maybe it was St. Louis. You're right with that. All kinds of shit's going ape shit again. This, every, everybody's just got to get their shit together with this COVID. Of the, the Florida grocery store where the reporter was just going in to get groceries, walked in and next thing he notices, not a fucking customer, let alone not one employee is wearing a mask. And I guess there was even a sign outside like, well, if you have a medical condition, you don't have to wear a mask. And the guy went to go grocery shop and ended up with a story because nobody in there wearing a mask. But from what I can tell at this point, Florida is a fucking free for all. Do whatever you want. Have a restaurant open, have a fucking bashing party. I don't know what's up in Florida. I'm not a Florida person. I've been there twice. I fucking hate Florida. I went to Disneyland as a kid. I fucking hated it. I don't do rides. I'm not a Florida kid. And I only went there to the Gulf side one time for a um, wedding that I had to go to. Other than that, I have no interest in ever going to Florida again. I've had to stop at their airport just to go to like the Bahamas or some shit. And yeah, the people at the Super Bowl are going to be fucking partying because God forbid they sit home and watch it. <laughs> With their own families and uh, I I forgot about football <laughs> seriously and this was like weeks ago and I heard something on radio or was like something about Super Bowl and I'm like oh I wonder who's getting to play just I guess it's gonna be random of like whoever doesn't have COVID gets to play <laughs> I have no idea I haven't followed football at all because I totally kind of forgot about it this year with all the other shit going on but I always was a Chiefs fan, so go Chiefs. And, I, but, and everybody's busting the other guy's balls. It was a Tom Brady. It was a 20-year-old versus a 40-year-old. Rock out. I mean, if the 40-year-old can do it, good for him. Shows he's a good thing. If the 20-year-old does it, good for him. Who we'll give a shit who wins? We only, Greg and I don't even barely watch it. We just, like, watch halftime, and even that sucks half the time. But, oh yeah, that'll be just another fucking outbreak. It's disturbing. That's what I see an article of. If we keep going the way we're going, um, not getting enough shots and everybody, and, and Biden is, he's doing his best. You know, trying to get everything going. Now Johnson & Johnson, if they can get FDA approved for the one shot, fucking beautiful. 
Fucking beautiful. One shot deal. Man, just throw that shit in everybody's mailbox. Jam yourself with the fucking thing. But it's like, this whole world has to get on board. Like I said, we all... How do you fucking think this thing got around the world? That's another thing. COVID proves. Shit goes around this entire fucking planet. So as people of our planet, everybody has to play together to go, we need to get rid of this fucking virus. Stay home, wear the mask, wash your fucking hands, stop having parties. I get it. If you're in your 20s and dating, this has got to suck. Without going to the bar, I get it. It would suck. But your life should be more important than a fucking Budweiser. <laughs> Due to the fact of, I've said it before and I'll say it again. If COVID affected all of us the exact same way, like everybody gets a sniffly nose and we're achy and feel like shit for a week. But everybody has the same symptoms. Okay. That ain't COVID. You can live. You can be on a vent. You can die. Some people have no symptoms. Some people are just running around asymptomatic, spreading that shit like fucking glitter. <laughs> it hits everybody differently. I already know of at least four people who have had it. Luckily, none of them have fucking died. But they have had different symptoms of no taste and no smell. You know, just knock down your ass. You can't even barely get your ass out of bed in the morning. So they're all getting the different symptoms. But again, this whole fucking planet needs to work together on certain things. And this is one of them. Because this, the way I see it, I've been saying it forever. Since nobody's playing nice and people are being selfish motherfuckers, we're going to be in this bullshit to at least, what are we in now, 2021? I'm going to say 2023, minimum. But I saw an article the other day, they were saying seven years. I'm trying to be good at three. Going, just because people, I get it. I don't know why people want to, don't want to stay home. Don't get that. Hate your fucking family. I don't know what to tell you. Move. <laughs> but it, it's, it's not going to stop. And it just keeps fucking mutating. Why do you think we have all these different variants now? Viruses are nasty, son of a bitches. Rosie, you're not going anywhere. I love you too much. You ain't going anywhere. <laughs> I love staying home, Teresa. I am down for this shit. Bring it on. Yes, I miss hanging out with my mother intensely. I miss going to the occasional restaurant, having a girls' night, things like that. But overall, mm-mm, mm-mm. Hopefully I got enough resin in these lungs to cover any of that shit. <laughs> and I do. I stay fucking home. But luckily, like I said, I'm an only child, so I'm, it's easy that way. Greg and I don't bother each other anyway. You know, he comes home, beat him, possibly fuck him, throw him to bed. Done. <laughs> you know, the guy's up at 4 o'clock in the goddamn morning. So, you know, he, he doesn't get home until sometimes 6 o'clock at night, if not later. I bust his balls working. I just fucking check my emails. I can do shit from home. I nap. Binge watch shows. Like today was Chicago Chicago Med Fire and PD. You know, just watch TV, come down here, fuck around, play with the animals. Which I'm going to have to take the dog out soon. Holy shit, I forgot. <laughs> but yeah, I, we all have to work together. And seeing all the rich fucking assholes going off to their islands and all that. It's like, fuck you. Fuck you. You know, the rest of us, we ain't going. I, you couldn't pay me to get on a fucking airplane, put it that way. Or get in, like, a train to go to New York. As much as I want to go to New York and get a Levain cookie, which I don't need to because Sarah sent me cookies. <laughs> and I can just order them online. But I do miss going to New York for my couple days. That's, like, my break. To go to New York, eat buy makeup at the makeup shows and all that and come home it is what it is they're doing the makeup show online they just did one last week and i'm figuring they'll do another one in probably may around the same time they would have did the show in new york so i'm like you know what i'm gonna sign up for it and do the online i can sit in bed with my laptop and watch the actual shit that i usually don't get to see at the shows because i'm running around chatting with everybody and buying makeup instead of watching the cool you know, makeup just things. I watch some of them, but it's mainly shopping and eating. And I'm like, what the hell? It's like 40 bucks online or something. It's cheaper than going to the show, you know, by the time going to the show and all that. 
Now, Teresa, if you're home, that skincare should be through the roof. Because now you got the time to do it. I'm glad you have the military grade mask, Laura. Yeah, reusable, washable, perfect. I agree. Cookies make everything better. That's why I said I got so many cookies upstairs. No, to my mom. Even my mom, she goes, she told me, she goes, I made oatmeal raisin cookies. I'm like, all right. And she made Greg without the raisins. And I'm laughing. The cookies, they're like this big. And they're flat. And I'm like, but it's still chewy. And I was just like, what the fuck did my mother do wrong? She makes cookies all the time. So I even called her and was like, and I told her about the Levain cookies and she's laughing. She's like, oh, they beat my cookies. I'm like, no, mom, you make really good cookies. I go, but mom, why'd the cookies come out flat? She's like, I have no fucking clue. I'm like, did you put too much butter? Like oatmeal cookies, you know how you usually you just, you know, make a ball out of it and kind of maybe give it a little squish and it stays puffy. And they're literally flat, like, and you would think it would be crispy. That's how flat it is and thin. And it's still somehow chewy. And we're still laughing about it tonight. Going, she goes, did you eat my cookies? I'm like, yes, mother. I'm eating your cookies and Sarah's cookies. Because the Levain cookies are so big. You cannot, well, I can't even eat one in one whole sitting. So I usually break it into fours. And then I'll take a little piece at a time. And nibble on it. Because one piece is, they're six ounce cookies. But they're huge. So it's a you know good spot. And I'm like, mom, I'm still trying to figure out what the hell we're wrong with your cookies. Because I bake too. And she's like, I don't know. And we still can't figure it out. She makes the cookies all the goddamn time. And they came out flat. It was the weirdest thing. Flat but chewy. I'm like, I go, Mom, I thought they were going to be like hard as a rock. Very weird. Oh, yeah. I'm asked Blue Lily. Oh, that's rough, too. Yeah, that's a tough disease. Oh my God, yeah, the double chocolate chocolate chip. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Rosie, those, oh. And see, that's where I wish, that's why I miss going to the bakery. Because if you go on their page, they have brioche and it's eh, three inches wide or so. And in the center of that is the chocolate chips that are all melty, just like the same chocolate chips that are in the cookies. Only cookies where you can break it in half, like it's a day old. And the chocolate chips are still creamy. It's a specific type of chocolate chip they use. It's some Belgian kind. And, oh my God, the brioche with the chocolate is so good. And then they'll have, like, a, it's almost the size of a dinner roll, like a good size dinner roll. And they'll have, like, the, the cut in the top. And they break that and they stuff that with chocolate. So then it's, like, chocolatey bread. You should see, that's why I drop, like, a hundred fucking dollars in there every time when I go in. Because I want the extra goodies besides the cookies. They make cinnamon rolls, walnut rolls. Oh my God, their bakery is just fucking mind blowing. <laughs> I mean, we're on the train going back, just like inhaling shit. So good though, oh my God. I'm like, please put one in Connecticut. <laughs> but, I'm, but I don't go to Whole Foods. I'm the farthest thing from a vegan, healthy eater. I, mean, I guess I do eat healthy because I eat Thai food all the time. So it's very healthy, but not on purpose. I just like it. <laughs> But yeah, Levain, if you're in New York, anywhere near New York, go to Levain Bakery. They have several, and oh, the cookies are just mm, <laughs> too good, too damn good. All right, ladies, I'm going to go let the dog out because, yeah, I've been on here two hours, eight, nine, ten. I took him out. So, oh, yeah, he needs to go. <laughs> yep, look up those cookies, Laura, I'm telling you. And they are in Whole Foods. So they have a thing you can put in your zip code and they'll tell you if your Whole Foods has it. Oh, macadamia nut cookies are so good. I love just cookies in general. Bring on the cookies. I did so much baking for a while. I would only keep a little bit for myself and then I would bring all the shit to work and they would call me Betty Crocker. <laughs> and then they would laugh. They'd go, how the fuck do you make all these baked goods and don't get, you know, gain weight? And I'm like, because I give them all to you guys. I keep a couple, you know, in a little zip bag for myself. And I go, I can't have like fucking dozens of cookies laying around the house. That's all I will be eating. I'm like, no, I bring them all to you girls. Let your girls all eat them. 
I go through phases, like anybody. Bake for a while, cook, but now it's all this shit. Makeup, makeup, makeup. <laughs> Baking's cheaper. Even the fun kind of baking is almost cheaper. <laughs> you get my brushes. There's my pocket. I gotta wash these. What other brushes I got in here I gotta wash? Yeah, check out JD Glow though. No matte shades, but we all have matte shades in our collection. Even if you own one palette, you got mattes. <laughs> and this we're going to try on the other camera. And I want to try it outside, but it's disturbing that these three shades look almost goddamn identical. And there's only 21 shades. So if I have three that are pretty much the same, it's like, damn. But all three I can wear. So that's even weirder. Very strange. But the Milani makes a great foundation too. And this one I know is full coverage. It's a thicker formula. This is so thin. You saw that one little dot just like running down my hand. Like, I don't like to build it up. But the mascara is good. And we will compare that too. Excuse me, the bad gal bang. My, well, we violate her up because I gotta do that. All right, my loves. Everyone have a fabulous night. <laughs> you like what I swear, Linda? I swear like a, that's why in my actual videos, I try not to swear at all because I have a lot of friends that have younger kids and I and I want anybody to be able to watch the regular videos with your younger children. So that's why I really watch my mouth, but live, fuck it. Fuck it. Bring it on. <laughs> I'm always still me, just without the swearing. I'm I'm a good girl like that. Thank you, ladies, for hanging out with me. I love y'all. Y'all be good. Go football, whatever. <laughs> but maybe I'll be live Monday morning. Get ready to meet up. Jump in a fucking snowbank. I don't know. I don't know. But everyone have a fabulous night. Mwah. Love you all. Thank you so much for hanging. And you know I appreciate it. And we've been doing these almost weekly. So not like we have anything else to do. All right. I'll see you all very soon. Ladies, all be safe. Spread the word. Wear your damn masks. That's going to be my next post on Facebook. I'm going to take pictures with all my masks on and just bold letters. Wear a fucking mask. That's on my regular. Not my bewitch one. <laughs> my regular Facebook. Good night, my ladies. Thank you. I will see you all very soon. Be good. Bye.